In this video, I will show you how I create a chip generator using Scatternode in Pixel Composer. So let's start by creating the base shape using the shape node. Now the key concept of the chip generator is really simple. You only need the scatter. You can use scatter node to randomly place this shape all around the image. We want to give it some randomness too. And another important thing is we want it to be symmetric. So let's add the mirror node as well. Put the position in the middle by go to the fraction unit and then set it to 0.5. Immediately you can already see there are some random shape being generated here. The next step is to add the bevel node. We will add depth to our shape and we will also use the normal node to calculate the normal or which direction each pixel is facing. We will use the color replace node to change this color data into the color that we want. Now we're not going to select all the color because we can just increase the threshold. And don't forget to set this hard replace so that it's going to completely replace the color. In the palette too, we can set it to the palette that we want. And there we go. Now we got our base shape for our ship. The next step, we might want to add another layer of detail by selecting off this node. And then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Send in the shape. Now what we want to do here, we want to add the smaller detail using the same position. So we want these two nodes to use the same seed value. So let's connect these two seed value into a number. You can also do that by right clicking and click extract two node. Now these two scatter nodes share the same seed. What we want here is to reduce the size and reduce the bevel amount. Now we want to combine these two shapes by using compose node control shift B. And you can see here we add a little bit more detail to our shape. And let's add in another layer of detail, selecting all of them and then control B D. Now we're going to use different seeds for this one. So let's use this number and then add it by some random value. Let's just say 10. Connect the seed, connect the shape, and we're going to reduce the amount for maybe 4 and reduce the size. Just to add more detail, smaller detail here and there. And now we got a really basic shape generator. And because all of these nodes are being in control using one single shape, you can go and adjust the shape, changing the corner radius. And in these normal values, instead of using one, which will create this inset effect, if you set normal value to negative one, right, it will look like this cut a hole into the original shape. Now, what if you want to generate a bunch of this ship all at once, then instead of using this single number, we can use array by going to values and then going to array. Here we have the array create range, which will allow you to create an array from the range of values. Here we start at zero and end at 10. So let's go start at one and at 10. So now we're gonna create 10 values. So you can then connect. And as you can see, we already create 10 different ships. Another thing you can do is that in the scatter node, there's also an option for you to set random blending to the shape as well. So if you add some random blending, you can add even more detail into your shape. Now you might want to be careful not to add too much detail because the, our image is not so big, it's 64 by 64. So it might get a little bit too busy. And now you can export all of this image by right clicking and click save or current preview as, or you can send it to a render, the render sprite sheet node here, and then set the type to sprite array and press run to put all of them next to each other. And then you can right click and save, or you can do the export node. And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.